video comes to you in several parts. How many parts? I don't know how many parts yet. Ah! And Molly's vlogging. John Green made a video about the worst places to vomit. Here's some places I've vomited. What a charming thing to talk about on a video blog. My sister and I went to an onsen in Japan. Onsen are ridiculously clean. It's all about cleanliness and hygiene and oh my god. So my sister and I were hanging out in some boiling water naked with a bunch of Japanese women and it was just way too hot. And we went to these herbal baths and it was really weird and then we went back to the change rooms and I was trying to put my clothes back on and I started seeing spots in my vision and started to pass out. And I managed to not pass out and got into the foyer and vomited everywhere. Just everywhere. And this is the entry point for people coming into the onsen which is all about cleanliness. So the lady behind the desk is yelling at my sister and throwing towels at her to try and get her to clean it up. All of which is in Japanese, which my sister does not understand a word of. Meanwhile, my sister is yelling at me saying, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm sitting there in a post-vomit passiati stupor and all I can think to say is daijobu, which means I'm fine, in Japanese, which doesn't help her at all because she doesn't understand Japanese. Vomit story number two, Vanuatu. Yay, vomiting abroad. So I went snorkeling in Vanuatu a few years ago and I'd never been snorkeling before and I was not very good at it. I found more often than not that when I was trying to breathe in air, I was breathing in salt water. Basically I saw lots of coral and fishes and things and drank a whole bunch of salt water. And then we had to get on a ferry to get back to the mainland. Just before I got on this ferry I said to my boyfriend Ivor, I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna vomit. And he said, can you hold it until we get back to the mainland because we need to get on this ferry. Which is fair enough because I think they came once an hour or something and I looked at him and earnestly said no. Every single other passenger has gotten onto this ferry already and just before I'm supposed to get on the last passenger I lean over the wharf and vomit my guts out. Just bleh. And as the boat is leaving this whole school of tiny fish jump through my vomit into the air in a big swarm because they think they're getting fed again. Gross. Fishes were eating my vomit and it looked amazing. There was a ferry load of people coming into the island as we were leaving who watched me vomit profusely into the water that they were about to snorkel in. Sorry guys. Part two, wear it purple day. I'm wearing purple today in support of LGBT youth. You guys are awesome. Don't let the haters get you down. Life is so good and it will get so much better. Part three, the 10th of September is World Suicide Prevention Day. To see how you can help raise awareness and support this wonderful cause, check out the links in the doobly-doo. For people who are suffering depression or having suicidal thoughts, please check out the links in the doobly-doo for ways to get help. I hope you're enjoying watching me read Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm sure enjoying reading it. I can't lie to you. You're just too beautiful. Links. I will see you next week. Until then. Love. Hate. Troll. Comment and tell me the weirdest place you vomited and the story that goes along with that and everything that you ate that day.